Well, hello, beautiful people. My name is Bridget, and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having an awesome day. And today, we are going to be doing the Boxy Charms for the month of April 2021. It's already April. Like, I feel like 2020 took both forever and it went by really fast and now 2021 is just flying by we're already four months in i feel like it was just new year's but today i have the boxy charm premium as well as the boxy charm base box so the boxy charm base box is 25 dollars a month the premium is 35 dollars a month i am gifted a box from boxy charm and i also pay for my own premium subscription so i'm also a customer so i need to like you know, judge these things based off, is it really worth the price? Now, last month was, last month was pretty good. The month before, not so much, but then like the beginning of the year was awesome. So I'm not sure where we're at with BoxyCharm right now. Hopefully this month is good for both these boxes. And now we're gonna go ahead and get started with the small base box. I do have a BoxyCharm affiliate code. You can use my link down below if you wanna sign up for them, if you like what you see. If you don't, that's okay too, but let's go ahead and get started with the smaller one. I like starting off with the smaller one because we're building up to like, the more expensive one, you know? Okay guys, so first off, the small box, the regular base box, they also have like the like big, big box every month, but I just choose to subscribe to the premium one. You can also subscribe to like the Lux every three months and stuff. So in here we have the little card that tells us the price of everything. I'll also let you know the retail price of these items because like, I know it's supposed to be over $110 value for $25 a month, so we'll see. This first thing in here is like a little box. Uh, it says ju Jubilee on the front of it. So let's see what this is. Oh, it's the Tasha Denona. The little back card says the Tasha Denona. So the first thing is from a fancy brand, which I can't normally afford, but I can't afford in subscription boxes. But this is a random color scheme. So this is the Jubilee palette from Natasha Denona. Let me actually just open the cover so it doesn't glare at you. This seems random. Like I'm, I'm here for these kind of colors, right? Except for the blue. I don't really wear blue that much. But it's so random. So this retails for $48. This is bigger than her regular minis. Her regular minis are smaller because I have a couple of them. This is like a bigger palette. So it's $48 retail price. Also, these are the only two mattes. These ones are the shimmers, which this is a really dark matte shimmer. Or black shimmer, not matte shimmer. That's weird. It's the first thing in here, but it is a good value. So I'm happy with the first thing. There's a piece of weird paper in here. I don't really know what that's about. Okay, next up in here, we have a little, looks like a stick lipstick. So this is Iconic Bake Sculpting Lipstick in Metallic from Laura Geller. This is called Battery Park Bronze, which is a weird name. Battery Park Bronze is a weird name. So this retails for $21. Actually, I don't even know if I've ever seen Laura Geller in stores other than like TJ Maxx. So people buy Laura Geller stuff and like place orders. Let me know if you have down below. I usually just get in subscription boxes, it seems like. But this is the, oh, that's a weird print. So this is the $21 retail value. I, can we focus on this weird print? It's not going to focus. Oh, there we go. It's a really weird print, a weird texture. It's a really intense scoop right here too, like for your lips, a really intense angle. But like, I like the weird pattern on it. It's a coppery bronze metallic shade, which I don't wear stick lipsticks or metallics. So I probably won't get the most use out of that, but the packaging on it's nice. I just wonder if people buy Laura Geller other than in subscription boxes. Let me know if you do. I'd really, I'd really be interested to know if you do. Next up in here, it looks like we have three things. It's this first thing I'm not shocked by because who's, I mean, I don't know people buying from this brand other than to review it for a video, like for review purposes. This is Dragon Beauty's Dragonfire Color Corrector. We had the orange one in here last year. This retails for $25. This is in the shade Lavender. I, um, I don't know what lavender helps conceal. Um, color wheel wise, but this is a lavender color corrector. I did not like the orange one at all But I mean if you guys want to see me try this out in a video, I'll be happy to do it for you I just don't know what lavender color corrects personally, but Next up we have two things here. So let's do the little box. This is from Earth Harbor, which we've gotten things before like serums from I don't know if it was in this box or another box though, but Earth Harbor's Aurora Superfood Luminous Apole sea greens and cannabis sativa hemp. So it is a hemp oil probably um this retails for 32 dollars if i can get it open it's another little serumy thing from them we've had one of these before but it was yellow i believe and then here is what the nothing wants to focus today is a little bottle it's cute um i can smell it just from it not even be opening or not even being open but it's retail 32 dollars i just i don't know i feel like i have a lot of skincare i'm already using i wouldn't probably reach for that Lastly in here is big. It has some weight to it. This is from Terra de Mars. It is a 008 
Redition Body Cleanser. So it's a body cleanser. This retails for $22. I think a body cleanser is just a fancy word for a body wash, probably. Um, but it says it's Cosmos Organic coffee extract tones moisturizes so this is the next thing here retails for $22 and that is it for the boxycharm base box pretty simple this month pretty boring I guess it wasn't that exciting I mean we got a Tasha Nona product and a Dragon Beauty product those are interesting but nothing like wow so we have a full-size body cleanser which retails for $22 we have a Dragon Beauty color corrector which retails for $25 we have an Earth Harbor serum with hemp in it for $32. We have a Laura Geller $21 lipstick as well as a $48 value, a lot of money value, Natasha Jota palette with a really odd color scheme, which I don't know what to do with, but um, that's it for the BoxyCharm base box. This is what we got. It's okay. I like the little, I like the getting a Tasha Nona palette. I just wish the color scheme was more cohesive. I don't mind getting Dragon Beauty stuff because it's, it's fun to do for videos if you guys want to see me review another influencer stuff. But like the serum, the stick lipstick, and the body wash is kind of meh to me. So let's move on to the premium box. Hopefully it is better. Diving right into the base box for comparison. Also, the theme this month is sweet treats. And I will tell you the retail prices of these things as well. Um, up top we have something before we even get into it. So I'm going to move this and show you what the inside looks like. This is what it looks like. It's like a little weird pouch in there. But let's deal with this first thing first and see what this is. And again, I'll let you know the retail Price. I like the cute Easter egg theme. It's really pretty. So this is from Nails Ink London. It is the Feeling Vibrations Ink Credible Crystal Ball Roller Gloss Duo. One has dried flowers that it looks like, or not. I guess they're not dry because they're in a liquid. But this is this. They're little rollerball lip glosses. These retail for $24. So I think it's plastic container. It's why it's okay to be on top and not get broken in the shipping and stuff. But it looks cute. It looks cute. I like the little like leaves and there like flower petals and they're moving around. I think that's pretty. But I don't really use gloss myself. Next up here, first thing like under the foam. So this is from Dose of Colors, who I love. This is an eyeliner. It is in a green colored called Maybe Baby. This retails for $15. I'm really hoping this is not a pencil pencil liner. I hope it's like a gel cream liner. Oh, whoa, it's weird. So it has like a pen thing on the end. Can I roll it? Okay. Wait, what do I do? So there's like a sharpener under here on this end. Oh, I pull off the cap that looks like a little tip. It looks like this literally looks like it was, I was gonna roll out the eyeliner. <gasps> oh, and it's cream, so I'll use these. This is a green, that's really pigmented. So it's like an emerald green, maybe baby Dose of Colors eyeliner. I'm happy with this one. This is cute. Okay, I love Dose of Colors stuff. Like their liquid lipsticks are so nice. I also like their eyeshadows. I'm here for this. I also like their concealer. The foundation's not my favorite. The concealer's good though, but this is the green eyeliner. I'm totally keeping this. This is so nice. $15 retail value. Okay, next up under the foam. Oh, I see something from NARS. So I'm going to take this little NARS box off the side because I see this. I've never used anything from NARS besides the little mini orgasm blush I got one time for a birthday gift a couple years ago. I've never used anything from them other than that though. So this is a NARS blush in the shade Gaty. I'll put the word on the screen for you because I don't know how to say that word. This retails for $30. Couldn't read the card for a minute there. Let's see what shade we, or what the, what the shade looks like, I guess. So this packaging is nice. It's the one I'm familiar with from the mini I had. And it's a bright pink. Like this is a bright, bright pink. So that's a little intense for me. It's probably not the best selling color. It's probably why it's in the box. Um, but it's cute. Like I've used pinks like this before and I like them. I like the obsessed blush from urban decay which is a very pink blush moment that's just a little bright for my personal taste on the daily but it is pretty and it's a good retail value so i'm not mad at it next up let's see what this little baggy thing is which looks like maybe cotton rounds so it says it's nature Lux plus willow reusable bamboo makeup removable pads okay i do know what these are so this retails for 20 dollars how many we get a four piece in here if I can get it open. So inside here we have four reusable cotton rounds, which are like heavy duty, durable looking. They have like a nice softness to them. The sides seem the same on both as far as texture. And I know exactly, I know someone who loves makeup removers and stuff. So I think I can give this to them and they'd love it. So this is a little pouch, a little drawstring pouch of removable makeup wipes. These are cute, eco-friendly. So I'm actually pretty happy with that in the box, even though it's not like makeup makeup. Next up in here, we have a big palette. 
And I feel like we've had this palette before. It is from Iconic London. So this is the Iconic London Sunset to Sunrise Eyeshadow Palette. Retails for $62. I feel like we've had this. Oh no, we didn't have this. We had a very nude one, but this is a similar one. So here's the iconic London palette. I'm sorry, it reflects a lot with the lights in here, but it's cute. Like it has some pinkies, some peaches, some oranges, and like a little bit of a yellow moment. It's kind of a pastel yellow for me, but I like the gold one. So it's a cute color scheme. It's just massive. Like this is a chunker. This is big. $62 retail value for this thing. That's a lot of money. Also, do people order Iconic London stuff? Because I don't, I never have. I don't know. Just let me know if you do. If you order from brands I don't think people order from all the time, let me know if you do down below. And underneath the foam here, there's a bunch of paper. We have, looks like one last thing in here. So it's from Fenty. Okay, cool. Ooh, we have Dose of Colors and Fenty in the premium box. This one, this one's, okay, and a palette. So this is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. No filter, instant retouch primer. I've never tried the primer. It says soft matte. So this retails for $32. Oh, the packaging's cute. So this is the packaging, which is very pretty. Um, this is super nice. I'm gonna put some on my hand and like smell it and like feel it. So it's kind of like an off-white kind of color, like a slightly cream color. Blends out very nicely. It doesn't have much of a fragrance, but it does smell very light. Yeah, it doesn't, it, it's barely fragrance at all, but when you like smell for it, you can smell it. But like, it, I mean, it obviously doesn't have any color to it, but it feels slightly moisturizing, but it's dissolving into my skin or like settling into my skin very quickly. I'm excited to try this. So it is, it says it's the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. Good, all, good for all skin types. Shine Stopping Pore Diffusing Primer. Ooh, instant retouch effect. This feels nice. It's nice and glassy too. So this is like a cute moment. Let me make sure there's nothing else in here. Okay, so that is all that's in here. So we have a big iconic London palette. We have a full size NARS blush. Like, okay, the NARS blush. And then we have a dose of colors eyeliner and a Fenty primer. These three things alone are like brands that we know. You know, these are like brands people like always buy from. So like, I'm really impressed. So we have the palette. We have a Fenty primer, a NARS blush, and a Dose of Colors eyeliner. We also have reusable bamboo little cotton pads, as well as a lip gloss duo with little flower petals in it. So overall, this is what we got in the premium box this month. This looks good, you guys. Like, I'm super excited for the eyeliner the most and the primer. Like, these are good items for the premium. I really think the premium is way better value than the regular box this month. For an extra $10, I feel like you're definitely getting more money's worth, especially with a $62 palette. I know the mini had a Natasha Nona palette, but that, I mean, it just seems random colors that put, put together for that one. The Iconic London is big, has way more of a retail value. It has a good color scheme. It's just kind of bulky for me personally, but let me know what you guys think down below. I am, I'm pretty happy. Like, it's pretty good. Like, I feel like I would be happy with the base box if the Natasha Nona palette was a little more put together color wise, because like you're still getting lipstick, you're getting some skincare and stuff. Um, and you're also getting like the Dragon Beauty color corrector, which is makeup-y, but like the, the premium box really sold me this month. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below and please have a great and safe day out there wherever you are guys. Okay, bye.